First of all, thanks for clicking over this video. If you wanted to understand the working of Boost Converter and its simulation on PSPICE, then this is the correct video you have clicked on. Now, before starting this tutorial, this is the last video of a PSPICE series. So if you haven't watched our PSPICE series, just click over the I button and you will be directed to the whole playlist I have created. So please watch them very carefully. It's very important series if you wanted to learn PSPICE. Let's talk about what are the topics we're going to cover in this video. We'll start from basic circuit discussion and on off state discussions of a boost converter. Another topic will be design calculations for a boost converter. So there we're going to design a circuit of boost converter which will have an input voltage and output voltage. And we'll see how to do different calculations for that. Third topic will be the P-SPICE simulation. So we'll simulate that circuit on P-SPICE and we'll analyze the output waveforms. Now I have a very important information for the people who are planning to get ORCAD license. There are special ORCAD offers going on EMA EDA website. So I'll put link in the description for our Indian, US and UK community. You can go to that link and check out the offers. But if you are planning to purchase ORCAD standard suite or ORCAD professional suite, you'll get up to 50% discount on each of these. So please go to the link Check out their codes. With that said, let's roll the intro. As I've told you, the funda of buck converter is, buck converter, how, how it reduces the voltage? It reduces the voltage by increasing in current. Similarly, for boost converter, it increases the voltage by decreasing the current. And this is quite opposite of each other. If you talk about the basic circuit of boost converter, you'll have a battery which is directly connected to inductor. Then we have a switch which is connected between battery and inductor. Then we'll connect a diode in forward wires. Then we have a capacitor which will be responsible for reducing the ripple and load register. So this is a very simple basic circuit of open loop boost converter. Now let's start how it works. So like a buck converter, here also we have three major key elements. One is inductor, switch and diode. So we'll start with when switch is open. So as you can see, when switch is open, the battery will be the responsible part for providing the amount of current. And you'll see three major components which are connected in series. One is inductor, diode and register or whatever the load register will collect, right? Now due to these three elements, the impedance, the output impedance of this battery uh, or whatever the load we have connected on this battery, the impedance will be really high. And because of that, the amount of current, if, if we'll talk about IL, which will be flowing from here to here, that will be small. All right, just keep that in your mind. We'll discuss that in detail later. Let's talk about if switch is closed. If switch is closed, we got the alternate path here. So one path is either current will flow in forward direction and follow this high impedance path or we have a very low impedance path to return that current. So what current will do? It will follow this part. And due to this short, what will happen? The amount of current, which will be very, very large. All right. So in, in close switch, this is what is happening. Now, because of short, if you recall from our discussion from the buck converter video, the inductor will charge rapidly right because of charge the high amount of current will flow through inductor and because of that what will happen the magnetic field will increase right or energy stored in the inductor will increase rapidly right now if you remember what will be the polarity of voltage or polarity of inductor if current is increasing and magnetic field is increasing so if current is flowing in that direction magnetic field will be in this direction. Obviously, this line will go uh, from inside the inductor. So I'm just uh, routing it like this. All right. So this will be the direction of magnetic field. And uh, yeah, and the polarity will be like this. Right. So this will again cause dropping the voltage. Right. Now, let's just talk about if the switch will open again, okay, let's go back to the open condition. Now from this state, from this state, 
if we'll go to open condition just try to understand what i'm trying to say if switch will open again what will happen v battery will be uh, v battery will be connected to inductor diode and this and this will cause the reduction in il due to il decrement what will happen on inductor if il will go low magnetic field will collapse and due to that the polarity of inductor will change to minus and plus like that okay and here we have connected a battery in series so you can see now we have a two voltage source connected in series you're getting it so now inductor will be in series of a battery and voltage will add up now that large voltage will charge the capacitor and will see the greater voltage at load so this is this is the main working principle of boost converter now let's discuss uh the role of diode here so what is the role of diode here why we are using diode so the role of diode is because uh capacitor will charge with higher voltage compared to battery voltage so current can flow in this direction as well in this direction as well to avoid the any amount of current flowing back to battery you're getting it because here we have low potential here we have high potential due to uh, this uh, on off state right so now to avoid or to to block that current flow we are using diode here so this is the role of diode now let's talk about the design calculation part so here we have a two circuit which is one is closed circuit where we have a closed switch and one is open switch firstly we're going to talk about closed switch so if switch is closed then the amount of current will flow like this all right and here you will observe one thing the voltage at the input v in or vs will be directly equal to vl all right because because there is no other voltage drop except uh, the voltage across inductor now from that we know the expression vl is equal to l dil by dt and from there we got to know what will be the slope of current waveform that will be equal to vs upon l okay so this is the amount of current which is flowing through inductor let's talk about what is the amount of current which will be flowing through capacitor so if this part if this part is disconnected because here we are not just talking about on and or only uh, switch is closed we are talking about open and closed both state right because the capacitor will also have some charge which will uh, discharge through this rl all right so amount of current will flow in this direction as well and that will be our ic ic will be v not upon r so these are the two expression which will be useful during the during uh, the discussion of our simulation waveforms let's talk about open switch so when switch is open what will be the inductor voltage inductor voltage will be equal to v not minus vs and where vs is this this voltage whatever the supply voltage we are giving now from that expression we got to know sorry v not is equal to vl plus vs all right now let's talk about uh the inductor voltage so we'll use the same expression here as well ldi by dt now here we'll use uh the voltage vl value from this first expression so di by dt will be equal to v not minus vs upon l right so this will be a kind of slope that we'll see during switches off okay we'll observe that uh, the current waveform of inductor uh, during simulation on piece wise but let's talk about ic or whatever the amount of current which will be flowing through uh, the capacitor so as i told you at the beginning of uh, this video the amount of current will be flowing in these two directions right 
सो इफ यू यूज के सी एल आई सी विल बी इज इक्वल टू आई एल माइनस वी नॉट अपन आर राइट सो दिस इज अनादर एक्सप्रेशन दैट विल विल सी ड्यूरिंग द करंट वे फॉर्म लेट्स मूव टू अदर कैलकुलेशंस बिकॉज वी नी वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट वॉट इज द इंडक्टर वैल्यू और वॉट इज द कैपेसिटर वैल्यू वी शुड यूज इन अवर डिजाइन सो फॉर दैट वी हैव थ्री मेजर फॉर्मूलाज द फर्स्ट वन इज वी नॉट इज इक्वल टू वी एस अपॉन वन माइनस डी हेयर डी इज ड्यूटी साइकिल वी एस इज इनपुट वोल्टेज अनादर एक्सप्रेशन इज दिस इज फर्स्ट वन अनादर एक्सप्रेशन इज एल मिनिमम इज इक्वल टू ड्यूटी साइकिल वन माइनस ड्यूटी साइकिल स्क्वायर इन टू लोड रजिस्टेंस डिवाइड बाय टू इन टू स्विचिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी सो दिस विल बी अवर अनादर एक्सप्रेशन दैट वी कैन यूज फॉर कैलकुलेशंस अनादर इज सो हेयर वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड एल मिनिमम सो वॉट इज द अमाउंट ऑफ एल विल गोइंग टू यूज इट इज ऑलवेज टू पॉइंट वन पॉइंट टू फाइव फैक्टर ऑफ एल मिनिमम ऑल राइट नाउ हेयर सो नाउ इन केस ऑफ सी द फॉर्मूला इज हाउ विल कैलकुलेट दिस रिपल रिमूवल कैपेसिटर दैट विल बी डी अपॉन आर हेयर विल डिफाइन वॉट इज द रिपल फैक्टर यू वॉन्टेड टू सी एंड आई हैव टोल्ड यू ऑन प्रीवियस लेवल एंड मल्टीप्लाइड विद एफ एस सो दिस विल बी थर्ड एक्सप्रेशन विल गोइंग टू यूज लेट्स टॉक अबाउट वॉट आर द पैरामीटर्स वी आर यूजिंग इन आवर केस सो फॉर कैलकुलेशन ऑफ वी आउट सो दिस इज आवर डिजाइन ओके सो हेयर वी वॉन्ट वी हैव अ ट्वेल्व वोल्ट इनपुट ऑल राइट एंड फ्रॉम दैट वी वॉन्टेड टू गेट थर्टी वोल्ट आउटपुट ऑल राइट सो दिस इज अवर रिक्वायरमेंट नाउ वॉट विल बी द फॉर्मूला फॉर्मूला इज वी नॉट वी एस अपॉन वन माइनस डी सो डी इज बेसिकली डी ऑन ओके सो हेयर विल सी द ऑन टाइम इज ट्वेंटी फाइव अपॉन टोटल टाइम विल इज फोर्टी and that will be lead to 30 volt okay so this is how uh, this is how the pwm should be all right now let's talk about l minimum so that will be 0.6 just check into the uh, the the formula i've just i've discussed so we'll get what are the values of what thing i'll just do it quickly so we can move to the simulation part 2 into in our case duty cycle we are using 25k sorry the switching frequency is 25k and from that we'll get 96 micro henry then l will be 1.25 multiplied by 96 micro henry that will be 120 micro henry so we'll use this value on our design all right let's talk about capacitor and for c calculation that will be uh, the formula was d upon r delta v by v multiplied by f so this will be 0.6 upon 50 multiplied by 0.01 multiplied by 25k so it will give us 48 microfarad okay so this is another value we'll going to use so let's create the simulation uh, circuit first and then we'll simulate it so our circuit is ready on orcat capture cis and here you can see i'm using 12 volt input and desired output is 30 volt and we have connected inductor whatever the value we have calculated 120 micro henry similarly we are using the same value of capacitor here for switching i am using a mosfet which is irf150 and here i have set all the pulse parameter so this is what we have discussed during the uh, calculation so this will be our on uh, on time this will be our total time and uh, Yeah, so I'm basically probing couple of things. Let me tell you what are the voltages I'm probing. So first is uh, I am probing the switching part, whatever the voltage on on the switching element. Then I am uh, observing the output voltage. After that, I'm also observing what is the amount of current flowing through inductor and what is the amount of current or what is the current waveform uh, look like, uh, which is flowing from load resistor. And I just wanted to. tell you uh, uh, because see we have discussed these waveforms during the buck converter in very detail so one thing you will observe things are quite opposite right so if you if you if you have watched the buck converter part 2 video you know that these waveform this waveform was going down uh, for the buck converter 
and we have discussed why. In this case, as you can see, during on and off state, as I told you, the, the voltage will add up. All right. And due to that, you will see a slight increment of voltage and which is maintained as that. Because at the output side, we are getting the average voltage of this one. All right. Whatever the waveform we are seeing here. Apart from that, this is our output voltage. So it started from 12 volt, right? And it is quite increasing, all right? It is keep increasing due to this on and on and off state, right? Because inductor is also contributing as a voltage source. And it will, once it will reach uh, the limit. So here, when it will, uh, when it will maintain 30 volt, that means our circuit had maintained the equilibrium, right? Which is these state. So I'll discuss that. Uh, let's zoom in there. So first zoom in in current waveform. All right. So here I just wanted to show you just compare between buck and boost converter and you'll understand how this is working. So in case of buck converter, we have observed during on state, the current was rising and during off state, the current was trying to maintaining itself because of inductor. Same thing is happening here, but in opposite way. So during on state, the current is trying to maintaining itself and during off state, it is increasing because of inductor. All right. And when inductor can't able to provide that amount of current, what will happen during on state? Uh, 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 sorry, during off state, it will increase and during on state, it can't able to maintain it. So it will decrease this itself, right? So when the switch is on, right, when switch is on, the inductor can't able to source that amount of current. All right. And it will go down. Now let's talk about the equilibrium state. So as we have already discussed, equilibrium state is nothing just uh, the switching, uh, the charging or discharging of inductor. And here we'll see the output current will be the average of this switching waveform. Right? Like I told you, the, the output voltage will be the average of inductor voltage or whatever this switching or, uh, is happening across the inductor. All right. So yeah, these are the few things I wanted to tell you. And let me know in case of any doubt uh, from this discussion, I'll, I'll reply to you on comment section. And uh, this is this is the end of piece by series. And if you have any idea, like we need to simulate few more circuit on piece spice, just let me know in comment section. I'll try to do that.